Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike, and today I have a special video for all of you Halo fans. This is the Ravel USA Snap Type Build and Play UNSC Pelican. Uh, this, of course, uh, was released back in 2017 here in the U.S. It was discontinued shortly thereafter because the uh, parent company for Ravel USA, Hobico, filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy protection. And these model kits uh, were liquidated by investors and shareholders and sold in bulk to discount retailers such as Ollie's where I purchased this particular kit. And uh, at Ollie's it sold for $9.99 and that's roughly uh, a little less than half of what the original MSRP was on these kits. And they're getting harder to find now. Uh, so if you see them at an Ollie's, you might want to pick them up. Uh, even if you have no intention of building it and displaying it because honestly, uh, they're going to be, you know, a collector's item before long. So these are really cool kits and, you know, the selling point for them is the uh, light and sound features that they include. Uh, each kit uh, for the UNSC Pelican consists of 37 parts. It takes roughly 20, 25 minutes to assemble, uh, you know, if you just assemble it straight out of the box. I prefer to repaint and weather mine before I assemble it, and it usually takes me a few days to do that. So you're looking at the finished product, and I want to talk to you guys about uh, what kind of process I go into when I repaint one of these kits, uh, the paints that I use, and things like that. So we're going to go step by step over that and show you guys uh, how we do that. So to begin, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the canopy off and show you guys the interior of the cockpit. And the cockpit is one entire assembly, and it includes the soundboard and the speaker uh, down here in the bottom, the battery compartment, and it has all the light and sound features. So you have in-game sound effects, light up cockpit, and then light up vertical thrusters. And it includes a Master Chief figure and Linda figure. So what I did to begin with is I used this Apple Barrel pavement and just dry brushed the entire cockpit assembly to prime it. And I went back over it with this Folk Art Metallic Gunmetal Gray. Now, both Folk Art and Apple Barrel are uh, owned by the same parent company, Plaid Crafts. Really great paint. So after that dried, I went in, I don't know if you guys can see this right here on the cockpit, but I used this uh, Folk Art Metallic Blue Sapphire to paint the cockpit displays, as well as uh, beside the ejection seats, you know, to try to put some controls there. I used Marsh Green to paint the ejection seats, as well as the Master Chief figure I use the metallic gold by Folk Art to paint their visors. If you guys can see that. Yeah, there we go. And I did not repaint Linda because I just couldn't find uh, a paint in my supplies that, that I liked that would match the color of her armor. And I don't think you can see it. You can see some here in the floorboard, but all around the flight deck are these step areas. And I painted that using King's Gold. All along the uh, aircraft here, you can see that I've weathered it. And what I did was I used a uh, pavement and a wash and applied it to the individual parts uh, before I assembled them. All of the yellow colored engine intake parts and stuff uh, I've repainted in a uh, pavement gray. And then I went back over the intake grills and painted those in this same metallic gunmetal gray. All of the uh, warning indicators around the ship, like for ejection, rescue, and things like that. No step areas on the wings and stuff. I use the same King's Gold. One of the things I want to point out that is not part of the decal, you guys can see that it says no step. 
And that's pretty cool that they included that. And you can see I've weathered it all the way around. One of the things that you cannot see very clearly is the fact that I have completely repainted the interior of the cockpit, the troop bay. Maybe you guys can see it now. Painted the seats and that marsh green and the yellow boxes in there are where med kits and stuff would be. But I've repainted the interior. And of course, I've repainted all the uh, engine thrusters and stuff like that. Again, pavement gray to prime it. And then on the interior side of the thrusters, I've used the gun metal. On the underside here on the uh, transport latch, you can see that I use this cobalt blue. And the reason I painted all those little tick marks like that is because, you know, if you're uh, familiar with military aircraft, there are markings on the exterior of the aircraft that show up through your nod, your night vision. And in my mind, that's what that would be. That would have to be something that is clearly visible to like the ODSTs or troops using nods so that they would know where to position the uh, warthog for it to be captured. And all of these yellow marks and stuff, all of that is a uh, warning uh, indicators all along the fuselage of the aircraft. I know your landing gear will fold up like that. And you can pivot the uh, thrusters, but they are hard to, to pivot. And of course the primary wings pivot as do the maneuvering thrusters on the rear. You know, so it's a really, really nice kit. And you can see I've weathered it on the bottom. I like for my ships to look weathered. You know, I imagine them going into different planetary uh, atmospheres and, and locations and things and, and combat and getting dirty. And uh, I just like for them to, to look, you know, like they've been in combat. Um, you know, so it's a really, really nice kit. I don't like the decals as much you know they're they're difficult to reposition they're not like water slide decals um currently looking for someone who can uh print additional decals because i'm missing some and uh getting them applied to my next model kit but all the intake areas like the air scoop here and here i've painted in pavement gray where I've painted here on top of the engine, that's where the reverse thrusters are. When the ship comes into land to slow, it's kind of like a uh, commercial airliner or a military cargo aircraft. When you see them come into land, they have reverse thrusters and they'll open flaps like here and vent all the exhaust out forward to slow the aircraft's forward momentum. And that's kind of what that looks like. And uh, these back here are uh, maneuvering flaps for the primary engines. So just a really, really cool model kit. And uh, I have fun doing these. I really like bringing, bringing them to life, making them look realistic. So guys, that's the Ravel Snap Tight Build and Play UNSC Pelican. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, message me directly. You can email me at darkhorizoncreations at gmail.com uh, or leave a comment in the comment section below the video. And uh, if you haven't already, please follow, like, and subscribe to my social media on Facebook, Instagram, and my YouTube channel. We have a lot more content coming for Halo as far as uh, action figure reviews, custom figures and, and repaints and things like that. And uh, I've got a couple other projects that I'm working on. One of them you see in the background, which is the uh, Cobalt Blue 
uh, Alien Queen. She's not quite finished. Uh, I've been working on her for about three months now, almost four. Uh, so that's a, that's been a long-term project. So again, thank you guys for watching the video. Stay tuned. There's more to come.